We're God sized. And this is rockandlive.org. The band was actually going um, before 2008, in name only, really. It was just sort of God sized was finding the sound it wanted to be, uh, the sort of music we wanted to make, and getting the right lineup sorted. But I think we hit the the first proper lineup in 2008 when Gavin joined um, on bass and then we really knew we had a strong unit and everybody was on the same page is in regards to musical ambition, musical the same sort of style of music we wanted to make, that kind of thing. Um, so, that, so that was it and then we started really concentrating on playing a lot of shows. We wanted to play all across the UK and as soon as we got the opportunity to we wanted to come out to Europe which um, we finally managed to last year. Um, on a, we did a big tour and a few festival shows, um, so that was very cool. Um, and yeah, and then it, it led us to a situation where, in October last year, our old drummer left, Dan joined the band, and the rest is history. It's a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful thing, yeah. Mm. So we're you know coming to the end of this tour with My Ruin, which has been great. And um, yeah, it's cool to have Dan along. So that's really the story of the band at the moment. <laughs> yeah, well, Jägermeister in the UK they sponsor us, oh, really? so they are definitely a direct influence okay. um, on the music we make, and uh, we couldn't do without those guys. They're very, you know, on a on a joke in a side level, they they really we're a band without a record deal. We do everything on our own, so it's very important to have some sort of financial backing, and those guys have been okay. amazing to us. So, and also we drink a lot of that stuff. So, yeah, 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 definitely and, influence on our heads. In yeah, the morning, yeah, definitely sure. influence when you get up and you've got to drive. Five hours to the next venue when you're on tour, and it's like, oh man, yeah. Okay, so I bring for you some some of Shaker Meister. There we go. You want some? Yeah, that was it. Right on. Nice. <laughs> Cheers. Mm. Yeah, right on, man. It's a good interview. This is the best interview ever. Merci beaucoup. Yeah. You're not getting that back. <laughs> <laughs> Best sort of things was um, he gave us a business lesson. He was in Austria, and he sat us down and he talked to us about a lot of um, some of the pitfalls that he'd been through with his own career, some of the things that he would advise our band to do, some of the things he'd advise our band not to do, and it was really heartfelt. He really meant it. He wanted to he wanted to you know give us some some advice and some tips, and that was you know as a fan of Zach Wild as well as being just being on tour with him, it was very. Very cool thing, you know. But he was amazing with us from the get-go. You know, from the first show we played, we we, we just thought, oh, we're not going to see much of Zach. He's going to be in his dressing room. He's going to be in his tour bus, and he was come right, out, hey brother, you know, and he's big hugs and like he's known you forever. So it's very cool. But yeah, we've got a lot of time for Zach, he, and he still keeps in contact. And um, yeah, very cool. Can't hide your eyes, cause we can't we're basically we're getting this tour. Uh, January, February done, um, which has been absolutely awesome. Um, and then we're going to go back. We've got some dates in Germany, Germany in yep. April. Is that right? Yeah, that's yeah. right. So we've got a sort of window now of like a month or so to finish writing it and start recording it. Um, in an ideal world, we would get that all written, recorded, completed, sounding magnificent in time for those dates in Germany. Mm. It might not happen, yeah. but but yeah, we're we're the, our main focus is like we don't want to rush it out and not make the best album we possibly can because it's important for us to yeah. really make it up. Yeah, this has got to be the album that really, perfect. You know, really is, opens us up to you know a whole yeah. lot of new people, and we can tour off the back of it for a long time. So yeah, it's got to make sure that it's the strongest, it's got the strongest songs that we can have on it. So I think we're getting there. It's, it's yeah, we're good. we're we're nearly there yeah. for sure mm -hmm. as far as writing's concerned. Yeah. Okay. Uh, any gig plan in uh, Europe, in the, despite of Germany? Yeah, we're going to see Germany in April, and there's a show in Luxembourg, I think, as well. And uh, but one thing we really want to make sure we do this year is get really into the festivals, really get stuck in. Mm. So not only in the UK, we want to really branch out. I mean, we did uh, the Motor Culture Festival um, in France last year, and that was great. And we love playing to French crowds, and you know, it's, it's not just saying it because we're here. It's it was quite a Pleasantly surprised when we came over here with Black Label Society, 
we played in Paris and Clermont Ferrand and both of those shows were some of the best shows we did on the whole tour and we went all across Europe for six weeks so it was a real eye opener to French crowds and how cool it is so we want to make we make sure we're doing lots of festivals in France Germany just everywhere all across the mainland Europe so we would you know by summer we really should have some exciting plans to come over to the mainland Europe oh, yeah.